Good afternoon, everybody, and ladies and gentlemen. My, is, my name is Nobu Kif Kui from DPRI, Kyoto University. Today, I'm going to talk about the experimental study of the tsunami narration in coastal urban area and also the mechanical modeling. Uh, this movie shows the uh, uh, outline of the physical model of the coastal urban area taken by drone by my supervisor. Uh, here are backgrounds. Uh, one background one is the complexity of the innovation in urban area. Uh, innovation process is quietly affected by the uh, artificial structures such as buildings and uh, uh, bridges. And uh, therefore, the uh, local behavior of ground side tsunami innovation is not well known as well as food forcing and the quality of the tsunami hazard mapping. Uh, the other background is the lack of the benchmark data. Uh, of course, we can use the data about inhalation depth or run up height obtained by the survey in past events. However, there are few data for validating tsunami inhalation models, especially for inhalation rating edge and the spatial distribution of the velocity. Uh, recently, several laboratory experiments with using the physical coastal city model can have been done to obtain detailed validation data. Our uh, first example is the Park et al. 2013. This experiment is done in the Oregon State University. Uh, they introduced uh, one of our 15 scale urban city model of the CSL city. Uh, they introduced their ADVs along the street, and also with gauge also introduced. Uh, they created the velocity and the surface elevation and as a point data. Uh, the other example is the uh, process tour 2019. Uh, they introduced the web gauges around the street and they created the surface elevation using the, uh, as a point data. Uh, furthermore, they introduced the uh, um, through fluorescent dye colored in the green like this. Uh, they corrected the innovation extent. Uh, both two models obtained the velocity. However, velocity data is point data. So our objective is the measurement of the spatial distribution of velocity and the innovation extent in time cities. Uh, let me introduce our experiment setup. Uh, study area is the Kainan city in Wakayama, Japan. Here is uh, Japan, Tokyo, and Kyoto. Uh, Kainan city is located south of the Osaka. Uh, in Kainan city, there is an industrial complex, water channel, station, residential area. So there is many uh, artificial structures. Uh, we made the one of our 250 scale model of the Kainan city. Then we set up set the uh, model on the uh, tsunami room. Yeah, here is a web generator. We generate a way from here to here. Uh, let me see the schematic view of the water room. Here is the elevation of the uh, ST model. We introduced the 12 web gauges, offshore and run side area, and uh, some bearish metrics are also introduced. Uh, we conducted two types of the experiment. One is the measurement of the web height and the velocity using the two variable gauges and the four various metrics, as I explained. And also, we measured the spatial validation, spatial distribution of the velocity and the innovation reading edge based on the video image analysis. Uh, we used the uh, red dye in cross and color to detect the innovation edge. Uh, we used a PAB. And we use a yellow colored particle to estimate the velocity of a water surface. Uh, wave condition as uh, for as follows: uh, we have solitary wave case, pumping wave case, non tsunami case. Uh, these three figures show the, the wave shape for, uh, corresponding to these three cases. We assume the uh, short wave for solitary wave case, long wave for pumping case, realistic tsunami wave for non tsunami case. For video image analysis, we use the 
uh, as I said before, the PAB, we detect the particle, pressure particles, and then we calculated the uh, uh, velocity. And also we detected the edge of the red, so we can have the uh, radiation extent right in the white line. Here are a case name list. Uh, we have three cases. Uh, in this presentation, I'm gonna explain the solitary wave case a uh, height of five centimeter as the wave gauge height wave gauge one. From this slide, uh, let me show the experimental results. Uh, this movie shows the uh, inhalation process uh, of the case H05. Uh, we can check the uh, uh, inhalation extent and the velocity clearly. Uh, let me focus on uh, north area of the port and uh, we can see the velocity is right along the road. And also flow direction complicatedly changes around the buildings. For example, flow is changes from the uh, north east direction to the north and east direction. Uh, we succeeded, succeeded in the measuring complex flow around buildings. Uh, here are the maximum velocity and the arrival time. Uh, Maximum velocity, uh, we can see small magnitude where building density is high. For example, here, uh, the north of the port, that box area. About the direction along the street between buildings can be seen. And also in southern area, uh, direction is changed from south to west direction. For example, here. So this area is united from the east uh, both west and uh, east. About the arrival time, uh, variation of the arrival time is large at the red box area here. Uh, this is uh, due to the blocking, blocking by the group of buildings. Group of buildings uh, decrease the velocity. Then arrival time is going to be large. About <coughs> We cracked the path line for the first wave in northern area of Kainan. A uh, yellow line shows the path line and the green circle line shows the start point. And the red rectangle, red triangle shows the end point. Uh, we can observe the flow strongly affected by the buildings. Uh, and also we can see the three major pattern of the uh, path line. Pattern one is a reflection, and the pattern two is the uh, flowing along the uh, shape of buildings, and the pattern three is the uh, overtoppings. Uh, let me check uh, pattern two and pattern three in detail. We have calculated the velocity and the direction on path lines two and three. Uh, scattered circles show the magnitude of velocity corresponding to the rest blue y axis. And uh, uh, color shows the full direction uh, when we let the uh, uh, south direction uh, zero degree. So in this figure, full direction is nine, from 90 to 135 degree. Uh, on the path line two, uh, around the 14.3, uh, through attacks uh, building B and the change the full direction about, about uh, 15 degree. Uh, after that, uh, flow attacks the building C and uh, changes the flow direction in the north uh, west way, so 135 to 180 way. And after that, the flow overtops the building C and the velocity is going to be down. So pattern two mainly affects both the flow direction and the magnitude here. And but on the other hand, uh, velocity on the first line three uh, building C around here uh, decreases the magnitude of the velocity. So we can see the velocity is going to be down gradually. So pattern three mainly affects the magnitude of the velocity. Then from now, we are going to explain about the numerical modeling with simulation, uh, roughly, because of the time constraint. Uh, this is our ongoing work. Uh, we want to use uh, three models. Uh, one is based on the uh, nonlinear shallow water equations. 
one is uh, Tsunami N2 by Good Way World and uh, Stock ML uh, by the uh, Pari and the subgrid model developed by the Notre Dame University of the Notre Dame. Uh, about the subgrid model, uh, please check uh, Jan's presentation, uh, subgrid the makeup of, of tsunami and the storm surge inundation in coastal urban settings in session 215. We input the wave from here and we compute the uh, tsunami inundation and the grid size is uh, uh, five centimeters in the port and the city area. And then we checked the uh, uh, reading edge for this, uh, in this figure, uh, we compared uh, tsunami and the stock result uh, with the uh, experimental result. Overall, both are, both agree very much with the experimental. Uh, however, the, in detail, uh, stock is uh, faster than the experiment, and on the other hand, tsunami is slower than experiment. Uh, we're gonna check the uh, reading edge, and also we're gonna uh, velocity in spatial uh, for from now. Uh, here is a summary of today's talk. Uh, we did we did inundation experiment using a physical coastal urban city to obtain special temporal data for model validation. Then we succeeded in the measuring the spatial distribution of velocity and inundation extent in time series. And then we, we revealed that the building density strongly affects the maximum velocity and arrival time. And also we ob observed the uh, very complicated behavior of flooding wave in the right side area, such as the reflection and the flowing around the shape of the buildings and the overtoppings. So it is considered that the velocity field strongly varies due to the buildings complicated replaced in the run side. And we need to discuss whether numerical models can reproduce such phenomena. Uh, this is the rest of the, my presentation. Thank you very much.